Hey everybody, I'm Nasty Mould and most of the upcoming content for the Days of Feast has been released. So I'm going to show you what it all is, all the new cosmetics, the new location, and all that jazz. Starting with the home space, it has its usual makeover but with a little twist. As you can see, it's snowy, it's shivery, it's so cold. It is set to night in my game right now, so the sky is really pretty. Now if you look over here, it just suits like the winter themes super well at night. You can see that there's some snowflakes that are turning into wax and they'll settle on the ground. That's something new and super cute. We have the ice rink back. I'm so excited for the ice rink to be back. And uh, there's an igloo over here that we were able to go into, but since the update, we can't. Let me in! Let me in! Now we're going to check out the Feast Spirit and its tree. Looks a lot like the Grandma. We have a trail spell for 5 candles. And then we have a music sheet for 10 candles. Another trail spell for 5. And what looks like a pillow for 10 candles. We have a scarf for 50 candles, and a beanie, or as a Canadian would say, a toque, for 20 hearts. And I am so broke, I can't buy most of this. But we have spells, don't worry. None there. Oh! Some here! Yes! Yes! Oh. Interesting. So much new stuff. Okay. Let's take a look at the decorated office now. Now, if you go to the office, you have to go to the Vault of Knowledge. Towards the left-hand side when you first enter, this barrier will be open during events. And we'll have a very friendly spirit who will take your hand and guide you into the office. Otherwise, to enter here, you usually need a special cape that you can only buy in the office. It's a little wacky, but it works. Come with me. Okay. One thing you must do if you get the assistance of this nice spirit is you have to bow to them. It is tradition. It is long honored. Thank you so much. Now the office decorations are not too different from last year, but we do have a new sort of spot and it's all decorated so we'll look at that as well. First off though, the inside. Um, unfortunately it's space day so everything's really dark in the office. Um, we have the cute chimney here. It's where we took our Christmas photos last year for the Discord. Uh, wreaths everywhere. There's a big Christmas tree. We have hanging stars from the ceiling. It's a pretty cozy vibe. Look at it. Is there anything in here? No, just space day. <laughs> um, towards the back, we have a big table, which is covered in presents. And these presents are also darkness. Wax, wax, wax. Um, once you burn all of these, some candles will appear and this will turn into a giant chat bench. Yay! So we light all these. Chat table. Now I think we have some in-app purchases this year. Let me see, nothing, no, no toilet void. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna buy them from here. We're gonna go onto the rooftop and we'll see if there's a specific spirit that sells these. So up here, look at how piled up the snow is. Ah, so much text. We have a super cute skating rink. Uh, it's really nicely decorated. Love all the little lights. What is this? He's glowing! Is this a s NPC? Oh, it is! Are these guys hacking? Oh my god. Oh, never mind. They're just getting spells. 
So I guess this will give us free spells, whereas the boat will give us um, paid spells. I could be wrong though. I think they were free on the boat as well. These are just different ones. Um, we have a spirit here. Oh, feast nat chat too. I've collected these, so I think the spirit will have all of the in-app purchases from the last two years. It has the Santa hat, the horns, and the snowflake cape, which I believe were all the in-app purchases. So it will have the classic ones. <gasps> Little bench. Sorry, I get distracted so easily. Wow, it's cute. I love this. I'm gonna just sit right there. Wait, this is so pretty, what? Hang on, taking a pic. Think I could use that for thumbnail? Hmm, we'll see. Uh, we have another spirit here. Oh, and this is the staff from last year, so I didn't actually buy any of these on my beta account. But this was all of the in-game currency items from last year, so we have a heart, we have the uh, holly, uh, bow tie, the red cape, and the seat. And we'll be viewing all of these cosmetics later on, near the end of the video. We'll take a nice, slow look at everything. I'm just going to see if there's any more stuff around here. Um, lots of little benches, that's cute. And no one's over here. Okay. Let's check out some of these in-app purchases. So we have a snow globe, a elder cape, and a snowflake pin. I know the pin is broken, so I'm not going to try to buy it. Let's check out the snow globe first. A magical globe that brings down a bit snow. Alright then. Oh no, I think it's going to replace my guitar. I wanted to play the song. No. That's my oh, the bag is so cute. We'll take a look at it in better lighting in a minute. Look at that. Uh, so I guess this rains down snow. It reminds me of a mix between the rose from the Little Prince and the Star Collector's prop. It's cute. Feast TGC Santa. I guess the text is not put in yet. Let's grab the elder cape. I'm really curious what this looks like. Oh. Oh, it's like a fluffy grandpa cape from uh, Belonging. It's got the snowflake pattern on the back. I love this. Oh. And this is something that would be okay as an in-app purchase. The red lining? Ooh. Just because there's something so similar in the game, no one would have to buy this, you know? I know a lot of people say they have to buy every in-app purchase. You don't. This is cute! Oh, Belonging makes me think of the snow, so... This is really perfect. Let's check out the new music sheet. Uh, these are all now organized. And this music sheet is possibly the hardest we've ever had in the game. It starts off very easy and unassuming.
yep, that's the Feast music sheet. It's really, really amazing, but so hard. I could not keep up. Time to take a closer look at all of the new cosmetics. We're going to be doing the free ones first, and by that I mean they are in-game currency. So candles, hearts, this scarf. I know I say this often, this is so cute. It's one of the best. It just covers your face. Um, I think I took a video of it near the end, going wearing the witch hair with it. Um, you can also wear it with any mask, any hairstyle. It's a neck accessory. I truly love this one. Let's look with some masks. I haven't done this yet. I have a feeling the animal ones won't really work. Like that looks super weird. Oh, the duck looks perfect. Wow. The Anubis too, what? The spider? Why do these fit so well? Not the frog, not the frog. The plain masks and the animal masks seem to fit really well. I'm surprised. Yeah, it's so high up on the nose that you look super snuggled in. It is exactly what I would want from this kind of accessory. And I'll try it on with some capes so you can see how it layers over the cape. Some plain capes, some fancier capes. Ooh, very fall vibe. I love it. It's so good. Uh, now we have the winter hat. More like I called it, the toque. This is 20 hearts. If you zoom in really closely, you can see the knit weave. Really cute. You'll notice that the in-game currency items are a lot cheaper this time. Uh, the older items are the same price, but the new ones are very cheap, which is super nice. And this here is the pillow prop. At the moment, it has the assembly backpack. Look how big it is! This is what the assembly pillow should have been. Enormous. So comfy. It'll look so cute in your shared space. Yeah, everything seems super reasonably priced. I hope they keep up with this. It's very nice. And now we're gonna look at the in-app purchase items. So this will be actual money. We have the Winter Ancestor Cape, which is very similar to the Season of Belonging, white cape. Uh, the interior has this amazing red. I personally love this one. It's basically an ascended version of the Belonging capes. And I have so much nostalgia and love for Belonging. Uh, we'll take a little flight, see what it looks like. Just a little flight. Ooh, the gold trim shines. Very nice. I am totally down with this cape, and the price is really not that bad. Next up, we have the globe. The snow globe. This one is $9.99 as well, and it's a bit pricey, but I feel like this one is very much um, a choice to purchase. You don't need this one. A little bit of snow. It's super cute. Uh, it's more of a luxury purchase to me. And now we'll check out all of the returning cosmetics because there's a lot coming. Bear in mind these prices are from last year, so they're not going to change. They are a little bit expensive. To start off, we have the Santa hat, and it is bundled with 25 candles for $6.99 USD. This is a hairstyle, it's not a hat. And then we have the Feast Horns. This is an accessory, so it'll go on any hairstyle. And it looks super cute. The ears on this will bounce as we walk, which I'll show you in a second. Boing, 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 boing. Precious! Adorable. We have the Snowflake Cape, which is $14.99 USD. This has a very unique shape. Little puff balls on the tips. And it has the snowflake pattern for your winged light. 
blue and the white. Very cute. And we'll see what this cape looks like flying really quick. Again, just a short fly. It's quite big. It's quite bat-like the way it flaps. And then we have the in-game currency items. This is the Feast Cape. It's got that really nice royal red. Very Christmassy. Looks great with the Santa hat. Looks great with the uh, new scarf. The new beanie. Looks great with everything. And we will also fly with this one briefly. It's a pretty basic cape shape, so nothing too special about it. Ah! We're in the clouds! Bad flyer. Manta? And then we have the Feast Necktie. This one is 15 hearts. It's a little neck accessory with a little ornament in the middle. I do think it actually matches a lot of accessories even outside of the season. And then the Feast Table. This one was super pricey at 150 candles. It is definitely a luxury item, not a necessary purchase, but it's really cute on your back and it's so fancy. Got a nice charcuterie tray. Uh, it's got the little holly on the back of all the chairs. It is cute, but definitely, definitely a luxury item. And that is pretty much it for the Days of Feast so far. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Hope you found this helpful, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!